We're going to continue looking at ways you can fake doubles in your music production. And this time, we're going to talk about using a stock Logic plugin to get the job done. Now, if you want to see how to do it without plugin, there's already a tutorial on that. Check the link in the description and the pinned comment. And if you'd love to see more content like this, then please go ahead to subscribe to the channel and to the mailing list found at logic.band where you can get a free getting started with logic course and if you'd love to support logic band get early access to tutorials plus a lot more then consider becoming a member just hit the join button right here on youtube so i'm going to play this section of the song we're working with this is a chorus now we did record a main vocal and a left and right double so we actually did record three different vocals, but right now we're just gonna use that center vocal and we're gonna copy it over to two additional tracks and see how we can fake a double and compare it to the real double that recorded. So that way you can see how well of a job you can get with some of these different techniques, right? So this is what we're working with. I'm just gonna play the solo vocal of the section we're working with for you right now. I told you the So that's the part of the song we are working with. Track 147 chorus. So that's the track with the vocal on it. And if I do control N. 29 bars, one beat, one tick. And control home. 21 bars, one beat, one tick. See that region ends at 29 and starts at bar 21. I'm going to copy this region with command C. Copy. And I'm going to go ahead and. Track 148 chorus double one. Paste it on chorus double one. Paste. And that's a track that's already set up to be 60B quieter and panned all the way hard left. If I solo that channel strip solo on. and play it, I told you, that you see that it's panned hard left. Channel strip, track 149, chorus double two. And chorus double two, I'm going to paste it paste. on that as well. And this track is panned hard right and it's also 60B quieter. Toggle channel strip solo on. I told you that and you see that it's just on the right. Toggle channel strip solo If I play this out with all three of them in. I told you the deal. It sounds like it's just a louder version of the main vocals, right? So let's go to this first track. Track 148, chorus double one. I'm going to press command two to jump into the mixer because that will put me on a channel script for the track I have selected and allow me to go ahead and instantiate a plugin on that track. So I'm just going to hit command two. Chorus double one, partially hidden, channel strip groove, AGF doubles logics. AG and you see it puts me right on the chorus double one channel strip. I'm going to interact with and this. Chorus double one, partially hidden, channel Jump to the top of the channel one, strip. Input gain, slider. And then via right. Setting, gain reduct off. Channel mode, input one, button, audio plugin, button. And that's available. the first audio plugin spot. I'm going to via space on this. Menu, 22 items. And I'm going to go down to the pitch categories. I'm just going to via down arrow. Check mark, recent, gain, J, chromic, black, mod, mod, absent, delay, distortion, dynamic, EQ, sub, filter, sub, imaging, sub, metering, sub, modulation, multi effect, pitch, sub menu. That's the pitch category. Pitch, sub menu, three items, pitch correction, sub menu. Now, we're not looking for pitch correction. Pitch shifter, sub menu. And I think a lot of people are assuming if they know what I'm doing that I'm gonna use a pitch shifter, but the pitch shifter is actually not the one I would use for this. Vocal transformer, submenu. The vocal transformer is. Well, the pitch shifter and the vocal transformer have a lot of the same features. The pitch shifter sounds like it's an older algorithm. Uh, it just doesn't sound as smooth. It, it, it sounds like a vintage tape machine where it just, the quality degrades the more you pitch stuff. Vocal transformer sounds like a much more modern algorithm. So that's the one we're going to use because it's going to be a much nicer, much cleaner algorithm. And I find vocal transformer holds its own against a lot of uh, paid options out there. So we're going to go ahead and give this one a try. So I'm going to hit return to pull up vocal transformer. Chorus double one, dialogue. Chorus, cor OBS, and has new window. And we got the plugin up, so I'm just going to do VON to jump to the table where we can adjust parameters. Table, row one of 10. Pitch, zero slider, 50% slider. All right, Selected. we're going to interact with this. In table, pitch, zero slider, 50% so slider. This pitch slider is going to move us in semitones. Format, zero slider, fifth mix, 100, robot ties, unchecked pitch base, A2 dip pitch tracking, zero glide, zero point grain size, auto slide, formants, process always pop up button, fine pitch, zero CT slider, 50% slider. This fine pitch is essentially the same as a fine tune slider that we were using in the inspector in a previous tutorial. So I'm going to use this fine pitch. I'm going to interact and with fine this. Pitch, zero CT, slider, in slider. And we're going to take this up plus six. One CT, two CT, three CT, four CT, five CT, six CT. Yep, so I just did VO shift right. I already taken up six cents. That's why it says six CT. That's six cents. Auto slider. 
and I'm going to close this, Mixer, group, AGF. and I'm going to do the same thing to the other track, the track that's panned hard right. Mixer, group. So I'm going to interact with In Mixer, the mixer. Group, mixer, layout area. Interact with the layout mixer, area. Layout, double two, partially hidden, channel strip group. Go to the chorus double two track. I'm going to interact with this and add the effects to this track as well. I'm interact. In chorus double two, partially hidden, channel strip one, home. input gain, slider. Be all right. Setting, game read off, channel input one, button. Audio plugin button. Audio Actions plugin. available. Media menu. Space. Check mark. Recent. Dim. Vocal transformer. Sub menu. Vocal transformer is right there because we just recently added it. So I'm just going to hit return on that. Chorus double two. Dialog. Chorus double. Chorus double two. Hit VON to jump to the end of the window. The table. Row one of where ten. Where table is. Interact. In table. Row one of ten. And I'm just going to jump to the bottom again with VON. Fine pitch. Zero CT. Because that's where fine pitch is. Fine pitch. Zero CT slide in. Fine pitch. Zero CT. In slider. And I'm going to take this down. Minus one. Minus. 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 Minus five. Minus six CT. Minus six. So now if I play this. I told you the T. We're getting some separation there that we wouldn't be getting if we didn't have the plugins on the track. Now, the other thing that you want to do is to nudge these tracks a little bit. But something I didn't touch on in the previous video that may also help give you a little bit of separation is messing with the formant a little bit. But I wouldn't go crazy unless you really don't want it to sound like the same person. I'll show you what I mean I'll here. I'll just uh, solo this Top track channel strips now. Alone. Let's go. Grain size, glide, zero pitch tracking, glide, grain size, auto formants, process always pop-up button. Grain size, glide, pitch tracking, pitch base, robot ties, on mix, 100, formant, zero slider, 50% slider, formant. in, formant, zero, and slider, let's in say slider, take this up. plus one, plus, plus two, plus three, three plus four, four plus five, six. plus six. You get something like that, but if plus I... Plus four, plus three, plus two, plus one. Plus one. I told you the D. You know, plus, plus two, two, plus three. three. I told you the D. You know, so it's just a matter of how much you want it to be off by. Plus two. Let's go at plus two. I told you the All right, we'll leave that one there. We'll close now this. And... The mixer, layout area, mixer, layout, mixer. Chorus two, space, vocals, PC, partially hidden. Chorus double two, partially hidden, channel strip groove. Chorus double one, partially hidden, channel strip group. We'll go back to the chorus double in one. Chorus double one, one, setting, game off, channel input one, insert bar, vocal TRF, group, invoke, open, button. Chorus double one. Pull up the chorus, vocal transformer here. Table, table, in table, and row one of two pitch, zero, sli formant, zero slider, 50% so slide in, zero, and let's slide in slider, this minus one, one, minus two. Minus two. And I'm going to just hit control option command S to undo my solo. Clear recall solo. I told you the team. And so it does give it a little bit more separation. Like I said, if you want it to be more separated and you don't care that it doesn't sound like the same person and you're going to take the track volume down a little bit more to blend it in, you can probably push the format a little bit further. So that's that step. And now we're still going to need to nudge this a little bit. And in the previous tutorial, I talked about using setting your nudge value to something like ticks and using option left and right arrows. And that's definitely one way we can do it. But this time we're just gonna use option and the numbers. So I'm gonna close the mixer here and tracks group, with command W and we'll go back to the tracks group. Now, if you wanna nudge by ticks and you don't wanna have to set your nudge value to be ticks first with command control T, you can just use option three and four. Option three will nudge left by a tick and option four will nudge right by a tick. Another common one you might want to use is option seven and eight. That is milliseconds. Option seven nudge left by a millisecond, and option eight nudges right by a millisecond. And option nine and zero will nudge by ten milliseconds. Nine will nudge left, and zero will nudge right. So we'll do what we did last time and nudge by ticks, and we'll use option three and four to do that. See which track we have. Select track one hundred forty-eight, chorus double one. All right, so let's nudge this one left. So I'm just going to do option three because option three will nudge left. So I'm just gonna do option three probably like 25 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so that one is 25 and then I'm gonna select- Track 149, chorus double two. Chorus double two. And I'm gonna do option four about 25 times as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13.
All right, so that one's probably got nudged a little bit further. 21 bars, 1B, 33 ticks. So that one got nudged to the right. Track 148, chorus, double one. If I go to this one and do control home. 20 bars, 4 beats, 935 ticks. You see that one got nudged to the left because neither of them start right at bar 21 anymore. And if we play this. I told you the deal. And we can nudge that a little bit more if we want. Like I said, let's say we want to nudge it further. Let's say we use 10 milliseconds this time. Um, let's do option 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nudge that one even further left. 20 bars, 4 beats, 759 ticks. And if I go down. Track 149, chorus, double 2. I'm going to nudge this one even further right. I'm going to use option 0 this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I just nudged that one with option 0. So Track 148, chorus, double 1. 28 bars, 20 bars, 4 beats, 750. Let's play this again. I told you the deal. And you see, I kind of went a little crazy that time. So I told you, the you probably don't want to nudge it that far. It's a little too off. So let's take this back down. I'm going to use option 9 to bring... Track 149, chorus double 2. Chorus double 2, I'm going to use option 9 to bring that one back to the left a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's only 20 milliseconds instead of 100 milliseconds now. Track 148, chorus double 1. And that one, I'm going to use option 0 to bring it back towards the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And let's give this a shot. 20 bars, 4 beats, 899 ticks. I told you the deal. You know how I really feel. Ain't got feelings for you. How can I get it through? And there you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Track 147 chorus. Track 146 chorus vocals FD. I'm going to mute this track stack that has my fake doubles Top in it. channel strip mute on. And track 142 chorus vocals. Mute. I'm gonna play the real thing again for Toggle us. channel strip mute off. Unmute the track stack that has the real vocal doubles and play that for you. I told you the deal. You know how I really feel. Ain't got feelings for you. How can I get it through? So that is with the real f doubles. Toggle channel strip track 146 chorus vocals FD. Mute. And this is the fake doubles, the FD bus. Toggle channel strip mute off. I told you the deal. You know how I really feel. Ain't got feelings for you. How can I get it through? And there you have it. So the only difference this time is we use the vocal transformer plugin to transpose by sense just like we did with the fine tune slider in the inspector. So the only difference is the fine tune slider when you use that in the inspector that is using the flex pitch algorithm, whereas the vocal transformer algorithm is slightly different. Um, so you can use one or the other. The other nice thing about using Vocal Transformer is you have format control right inside the same plugin window where you're adjusting your sense. Now you do have format control if you use flex pitch, but that is found at the bottom of the track inspector. So even though you're just in the fine tuned sense in the region inspector, you'll have to go to the track inspector to adjust the format if you want to just use flex pitch and not use the Vocal Transformer. And once you offset your pitch ever so slightly, you make one vocal slightly sharp, you make the other vocal slightly flat, then the other thing you'll want to do to give you a little bit more realism, so to speak, is to nudge. And this time out, we use option three and four to nudge by ticks and options nine and zero to nudge by 10 milliseconds. And depending on how big or how small you want to nudge, you can use different options. And like I said, option one through zero are going to nudge. Option odd numbers are going to nudge left. Option even numbers are going to nudge right. But you can still also just set your nudge value to whatever you want, whether that's ticks, milliseconds, etc. There are key commands to set the nudge values to different things. 
Case in point, control option T sets the nudge value to ticks. And then when you use option left and right arrows to nudge, it will nudge by whatever value you have selected. So that's what it sounds like to use plugins built into Logic. Once again, I recommend using the Vocal Transformer plugin unless you're just going for a very old school vintage vibe, then you can try to pitch shift the plugin. But I, I prefer Vocal Transformer if you're going for something that sounds a little bit more modern, a little bit more realistic. And like I said, I've compared Vocal Transformer to a lot of the standard affair paid plugin options out there and it holds its own. In fact, there are some paid plugins that it either sounds better than or in my opinion, it sounds exactly the same as. Next time, there is a free plugin that does things a little bit differently that I think is worth looking at. And we'll take a look at that in the next installment of this series. So if you wanna see that when it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe to the channel. Or if you want early access to that tutorial before anyone else, consider becoming a Logic Band channel member. And there's a lot more perks involved if you do as well. If you wanna join the conversation and talk some more, leave a comment below or join the Logic.Band Discord server. That's Logic.Band slash Discord for all the info.